Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Ashley Newbro, leader of the Hallmark movie Operation Witchbreaker. Ashley takes on the lead role of Lottie Morgan. Join us as we delve into Ashley's insights into her character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you, Ashley, for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Me too. So we can start. Can you tell us a little bit about your character in Operation Nutcracker? A little bit about my character in Operation Nutcracker. I play Lily Morgan, who is an event planner, and she is currently up for a promotion to run the Boston branch of the event planning uh, company she works for and she's a little clumsy she can find herself um, dropping things bumping into things um, stuff like that uh, she's a hard worker and um, yeah I think that's that's probably uh, a good description of Lottie <laughs> yeah <laughs> and what initially attracted you to your role in Operation Cracker Cracker uh, what attracted me to the role of Operation Nutcracker, I loved how fun the script was. Um, I, I loved that they go on this scavenger hunt through various Christmas activities to find this Nutcracker. Um, I think that's a great way to celebrate the season. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I liked how, how fun it seemed. Great. And what do you think makes this movie so special? and captivating? Um, what I think makes these movies so special and captivating, um, well, I'm a huge fan of Christmas myself. I love everything about the season. It's like my favorite time of the year. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. And I think these movies do such a good job of just creating a cozy atmosphere that's festive and fun. Safe. It's like, entering a, a snow globe of sorts where, you know, you get to celebrate the season and um, look at the decorations and, uh, and all that. And I think the messages are always, are always so wholesome and uh, nice reminders, um, especially when things in the news can be heavy or life is stressful. It's a nice little escape, I think. Yes. And what do you hope? audiences take away from watching the movie? Um, I hope what's taken away from watching this movie is just a reminder to in the, enjoy the journey of whatever you're pursuing, whatever goal you have in mind, whatever you're chasing, I hope you remember to uh, enjoy yourself along the way because I think there's so much reward um, throughout the journey if, if you're looking for it, if you can notice it. Um, because I think it's so easy to get caught up in what your goal is or what the end game is that uh, you can rush past rush past a lot of stuff and and not see it. So I, I hope that's the main takeaway. Amazing. And uh, what was it like working with the rest of the cast on set? Uh, it was, oh, it was great. We had so much fun. Um, the cast was was brilliant and, and fun and hardworking and talented. Um, and David Weaver, our director, was absolutely hilarious. Um, and our one of our producers, Nataline Rodriguez, was such a sweetheart and amazing to work with. And she actually had my mom, uh, she put my mom in the background of one of the scenes when she came to set to watch me, which was really fun. Um, <laughs> my mom's never agreed to do that before. So that was really cool to get her on set. Uh, she normally prefers to watch me on the monitor, but that day when she came to set, uh, we put her to work. So I was actually watching her on the monitor and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what can you tease about your character journey in the movie? What can I tease? Yes. Oh, um, what can I tease about Lottie? Uh, well, she, she, um, she gets to know Tristan Warby that's played by Christopher Russell. And, um, he teaches her to, tr well, tries to teach her to trust in, in the universe and, and be open to spontaneity and adventure um, and believe in Christmas magic. And she might do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And what was uh, your favorite scene or moment while filming the movie? 
Um, it was definitely a, a very special day when my mom came to set. I, I loved I loved that day. That was at the airport. Um, but another cool moment that happened was when we were shooting the scene um, at the hospital. Um, the first AD came up to us, to Chris and I, and said, whatever happens in this next take, just go with it and get out of the way. And so, of course, in that moment, I, I started panicking internally, wondering what's going to happen, what what should I expect, what, what am I going to do? Um, so we start the scene, and soon after, one of the background act actors steps forward and interrupts the scene and has this beautiful little monologue and then proceeds to propose to his girlfriend who was also working in the background of the scene and it was just such a special and magical moment to happen on set I've I've never seen a proposal um in real life before so that was that was such a cool moment I was so I was so happy for them uh, she said yes obviously <laughs> and she was a very big fan of, of Hallmark movies so it was um the perfect way to do it and it was it was really exciting so that was a special moment on set absolutely yeah. So change of the subject. Can you tell us a little bit about your character in a best best selling kind of romance? Oh, my character in best selling kind of romance. Um, so I play Sophie. Um, and she is a novelist who has a best selling novel that's come out, and she now has to go on a book tour. But the problem is she has a very big fear of public speaking. So she then is teamed up with Daniel to, um, who's a public speaking coach who takes her through various exercises to, to help her overcome that. Um, so that's Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So as Survivor shows, we are big fans of Christmas from Corsa. What is your all time favorite? My all-time favorite rom-com or Christmas movie? Christmas rom-coms or Christmas movies? Ooh, um, oh my gosh. I There's a handful of Christmas movies that are a staple. Um, I love Christmas Vacation. <laughs> that's a good one. I love The Grinch. I, I love, that's the Jim Carrey and the, the cartoon version are classics in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and then as far as rom-coms go, I think How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is probably got to be number one, I would say. And The Proposal is maybe a close second. I think both of those are fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> the last question, can you tease us something about your next projects? My next project. Um, okay. Uh, the next, the project that I'm about to start um, What can I tease? Uh, it's different. It's it's different than than anything I've done in the Christmas movie realm before. Uh, there's a very very fun cast involved, and um, it's about four friends who run a gift wrapping company. I think I'm allowed to say that. I don't know. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, <laughs> this is it. Make sure to watch the movie Operation Nutcracker on our yeah. now. And awesome. thank you, Ashley, to join us. It's Anytime. Nice. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you all for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.